there are many trees there are many trees on earth that are older than humans and those trees don't plan to go anywhere you see them flourish and refuse to die hallelujah aware that they might be drought they still refuse to die they made sure that their roots went down down enough and here's what the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water you know what that means you don't have to wait for seasons again a tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for any season but a tree that is planted by the streams of water it is only its fruits that it brings in season not its survival hallelujah the wonder working power of God is made manifest when we call upon him let's look at a few scriptures Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 hallelujah Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call unto me the mighty one is saying and I will answer thee and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me he says and I will answer you that means when there is no call there will not be any response call and I will respond call and I will respond call concerning the health situation I will respond call concerning the job situation I will respond Psalms 145 and verse 18 Psalms 145 and verse 18 I love the Bible the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he's nigh not to men of God that call upon him he's nigh not to preachers not to apostles not to prophets he is nigh unto all all them that call upon him all them that call upon him and he says to all that call upon him in truth that means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it they are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers but they don't intend to see him manifest jesus where are you jesus come and he says no you are playing games you are not serious it is clear from your heart that you have other alternatives but there are people who call upon him in truth have mercy upon me thou son of david i have no other god some may trust in horses and chariots i do not even have that luxury there is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere if you do not help me say unto thee O god do i lift up my soul it says oh my god let me not be ashamed is that in your bible it says let not my enemies triumph over me there is a way you can call upon him in truth call upon him in truth lord i have done my best to teach my child the way of the lord but now that he's become a teenager in an attempt to help him to receive superior education he's delving into a practice that is antichrist i have done my best as a faithful parent but i know i am limited this is your child i call upon you arise oh great one and help this child to not become a casualty let this child not become a reason for people to think serving god uh, does not pay and god will one day your child will be roaming around anywhere in the world and mama's prayer has ascended to the throne and the mighty god will arrest him a small program will be happening somewhere and it will just feel like strolling in usually that's how it is and while he stands there the rest becomes history and he calls you one morning and says mommy and you say my son where are you now he says you can't believe it you just guess where i am he said don't tell me you are with the police <laughs> And he says, not anymore. Saul has become Paul. Yeah. Not anymore. And the child will start asking you, did you read your Bible today, mommy? And you say, I was busy. And say, mommy, you are backsliding already. <laughs> I need to be the new preacher supervising your consistency. You believe that, shout amen. amen. Even if not for yourself, shout for somebody. Amen. hallelujah the manifest power of God only happens at the instance of our prayer 
Paul was teaching about salvation in Romans chapter 10 and when he got to verse 13 Romans 10 13 he says whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whosoever that blessing and that privilege is for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whilst you are listening I want you to prepare your heart because tonight we are going to do some prayers there are some we are going to call upon the name of the Lord over certain issues the Bible says ye have not because ye ask not the everlasting father is ever willing to give ever willing to give but it is to them that ask Matthew 7 7 he says ask and you shall receive he said seek and you shall find then it says knock and it shall be opened unto you verse 8 says for everyone I like scripture for everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and the Bible says to him that knocketh it shall be open how it will be open leave that to God it says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child not the way of the wind that is how you do not know the works of the works of God how God would do it leave that to his intelligence he can use anybody including Pharaoh to bless you Are we together? Most times when we say God is going to bless people, as we say amen, our eye already goes to someone and we tie somebody in our mind. That is almost witchcraft. And in, while we are saying amen, you mean amen through that person and you will never let God rest. Lord, this man is rich. What is it about one million? And God says, no, leave that to my intelligence. I want to take praise out of this. So he can use somebody who vowed that under his watch he will not rise. Like Abimelech. And he gets up and says, I had a dream in the night. What is this about you that has even made God to come and threaten me? Take gold, take silver, you can go. This God, ba. You believe what I'm saying? Sometimes when we hear these things in church, we just think it's a nice message prepared by a preacher to excite people. Believe me with all humility, I'm not one of those people. I don't teach what I don't believe. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. You can taste and see. I join you tonight in your anger over that situation because it must leave you once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must leave you once and for all. There are families that have a signboard written on them, Ikabod. People say, once upon a time, we looked up to these people. Once upon a time. No, that statement of once upon a time, we cancel it here. Please shout a loud amen. Because the Bible says, the path of the just. Are you a believer? The path of the just is as a shining light. It says it shines brighter and brighter. That means I should never have a worse yesterday. No. A better a better yesterday I meant to say never it should never be and anything that is making your yesterday better than today I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus please sit down this is a strange occurrence of darkness that happens in Africa. You see vibrant people who serve God and after 10, 20 years, one day you will see them somewhere and you are almost running away. Good afternoon, daddy. And you are tempted to say, what happened? You lived in Europe for 10 years. You lived in America for 15 years. Two of your children were professors. What is this? Last we knew, your life was an example that inspired us. And there are wicked spirits that pick people from the throne and take them back to the village in the grave and you see them say, they will tell you they will show you photos snapping with presidents with their wives and children in the name of Jesus I'm saying it again God sent me here tonight anything programming failure on your future I stand by the God of heaven who helps men I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus Listen up. Our world is full of people 
who were great inspirations yesterday and today there is absolutely nothing no. i believe in seasons but i also believe that a man can be relevant for as long as you are in the epicenter of god's program listen there are things you need to start giving yourself a new orientation about do not believe them no It says as your days are so shall your strength be 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 apostle you know after COVID <laughs> I don't want to tell you what happened to my business but from COVID till now we've been going down I sympathize with you I agree with you but do you not know written in your scripture that the axe head can float and return back again is it not in your bible please help me let's become believers tonight except we are just saying okay god well we, we hope we trust you <clears throat> there is a condition upon which an axe head can float back again that is the assignment of the prophetic the prophet said by this time tomorrow that shame and that reproach would have left you he was not just speaking to an individual he was speaking over the entire Samaria hallelujah and we live in a world today where people can be so bold to say a lot of things someone looks at you and beats his chest and says, over my dead body and tell him it's a risk reverse that statement you have taken a risk that you cannot afford to pay for over your dead body He suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm the anointed is not just a man of God the anointed is everyone who is grafted into Christ by his spirit because you have an anointing within you is that not what the Bible says yes listen these are the systems that make us to walk in victory so when the bible says now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph is at the instance of this revelation you see that everything i tell you i show you a scripture that backs it there are many christians who have superstitious faith that means faith that is not founded on the word faith that is founded on empty confidence god forbid i won't die based on what and we have all kinds of cultural things my blood is white is not black no all those kinds of none of those things has power in the realm of the spirit it is only the word of god to believe that there is something unique about your blood that witches and witches will leave you in peace it's a joke even to jesus they came satan cometh to me what immunes you builds a garrison around you is the word of god are we together now what is the basis of your longevity if I ask you? I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Number one. Number two, I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. He said, choose life. You choose life by verbalizing it and by walking in keeping with the principles that are pro-life. Number three, honor your father and your mother in the Lord. Is that in your Bible? That your days may be long and that it shall be well with you. You don't want to live long when it's not well with you. Imagine a 90-year-old man who started suffering from 12. That is a long time of suffering. The longest we've seen in the Bible is 38 years. It shouldn't exceed more than that. And after 38 years, Jesus came and said, no, stand up, walk, go. And that was it. Every long-standing issue here that looks like it will be, the year keeps coming and going and that issue does not change. In the name of Jesus Christ, long-standing issues must answer to the name of Jesus. 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 If you don't have it, you don't have it intellectual cause that is where many people in the church crash today welcome to spirit nerds tv where souls unite and wisdom ignites get ready to delve into a spiritual adventure like no other 
as we unlock the secrets of the divine through sermons that captivate the curious minds and passionate heart. Join our tribe of enlightened seekers as we explore the realms of faith, knowledge, and transformation. Let the Spirit Nerds community be your compass as we explore this extraordinary quest. Get ready to expand your spiritual understanding and embrace the realities of the Holy Spirit.